All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lumpy Show. I'm One Bar Vikings do a little bit of house cleaning, bringing back a couple of offensive linemen, which uh, you know what might not it might not be sexy, but it's got teeth. We're going to be talking about that before we do. Remember, subscribe to the channel, like the videos here every day. Talking Minnesota Vikings, trying to get to 12K before draft day. Blake Brandel, David Quisenberry, Q Bear, come on down, baby. You guys are still Minnesota Vikings, and like I said, this isn't the sexiest of signings or re-signings. But very well needed because the Vikings' depth at offensive line is gross. It's gross. I mean, and Ole Udo, Chris Reed, Austin Schlotman, uh, I mean, Reisner's even a free agent. A lot of free agents out there, and these were two signings that just had to be done. And the good thing about Q Bear and Brandle is they can play multiple spots and play them fairly well. Are they going to start? No. If they're going to come in on a pinch and play well, yeah, they probably could. Brandle played in two games last year. Quisenberry started four for the Vikings, and really, Quisenberry ended up being a damn sneaky good signing by uh, by Quasey last year. So hats off to him, because when he came in, he played well, and he can play multiple spots. So Quisenberry, he's no spring chicken, 33 years old, um, but still got a little left in the tank. So I'm, I'm very glad that they got him back, and he probably will be the prominent backup at left or right tackle for the Vikings, depending on what they do the rest of the way in free agency and the draft. And they're both cheap. Both very, very cheap. Quisenberry last year, I think he signed like a $1.7 million contract. My guess is this new one is probably very similar. And Brandel was a restricted free agent, so he's going to be cheap as well. So uh, it was a needed signing. We don't have to sit and go dig deep in see uh, in the free agency and try to find some guys because we already had these guys in-house. Makes sense. I like it. This won't be the last of it. When it comes to the offensive line, the big questions will be what do they do at that left guard position? Do they bring Dalton Reisner back? Do they go a different route? But these guys... Good depth moves, like it, and uh, we'll be back hot and heavy. Vikings all day.